here it is. Let's make it a fast one and see if this works. I've got my oven preheating at 375. I've got my egg whites here. Again, I just went out and bought some because my chickens aren't laying so good. We're going to put a cup of egg whites in here. We're going to put a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And then we're going to beat the tar out of this. All right, now we've got uh, stiff peaks. And there they are. Oh, that would have been great. Had those just slide up. Here's nice. Those beaters pop right out. Okay. Now remember, we're not going to grease this. I'm using the smaller pan here. So one cup of egg whites will probably do this small pan. I'm hoping. And I'm going to put half a cup of my stevia. You use whatever kind of sweetener you like. I just still have stevia, so I'm using it up before I try anything else. And I took two tablespoons of psyllium husk fiber and I ground it up. So I'm going to put that two tablespoons of psyllium husk fiber in there. And two heaping tablespoons of oat fiber. Put that in there. Now we need our flavoring. So I'm going to go with a big cap full of my real vanilla. I still love the smell of that stuff. And to make this even a little bit sweeter, I'm going to add... I'm going to add a touch, and I mean a touch, like less than half a teaspoon of my psyllium extract, which is really strong. A typical thing with egg whites is you stir by folding, and we're just going to fold this all in together. I'm hoping four tablespoons of fiber is enough to set this together. Well, get all of it in there. The vanilla seems to be stuck to the fiber pieces. It's like, yay, clinging. That's okay, as we're stirring, it's getting better. I wouldn't mind little vanilla specks and chunks. That would be awesome. And look at that, that fiber as it starts to, you know, grab on to those egg whites. They start to more thicken like a, like a batter. Into our cheesecake pan it goes. 375 in the oven. I'm going to check on this at 30 minutes. And again, at 45 minutes, run my thing around and get the big pockets out of it. Into the oven she goes. I'm going to put it on top of my cookie sheet. We'll be back to see if that turned out in about 45 minutes. Okay, so here's the angel food vanilla cake attempt I made without an angel food cake pan. You can see it didn't raise as high without the thing in the center. It feels good, though. And just, I'm going to go ahead and turn it. Um, upside down to cool. Well this time I am going to wait until it's completely cool and then I'll cut into it and see how it turned out and let you all know. Oh that came off easy. Yes our cake didn't raise very good. I need a knife. See if I can cut it away from there. I don't know my friends. You may have a double fail day. On the other hand I think if you made maybe two or three of these and then stacked them together with some whipped cream, cream cheese frosting in between, they might be epically wonderful. See, even our fails are happy accidents. Here, I think I've got it. There we go. Oh, my favorite part is always the crunchies. Delish. I think what we're looking at here is what would be a really great thing to stack. You know, stack up. Oh, the taste is marvelous. It's vanilla y. I mean, it's like light like air. Okay. Next time we'll try again and see what we get. Meantime, this is mine. Come on. I took all the crumbs off. <laughs> oh, my kingdom for some whipped cream and about two more of these. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. To like, share, or subscribe. I love you all. Be good to each other. Bye.